bridging that gap is where we're going to have trouble. Marcy Glover carefully reviews a vital monthly request for government child care funding. And anything that's uh, questionable, you're going to go to the end of the line. 30% of the kids she cares for at Busy Bee and Christopher receive child care assistance. Competition for it is tough. State money is dried up. Only federal funding remains. What do you think they're talking about? making budgets tight. And not only would we be facing, you know, um, children losing great care that we try to provide, but I also look at it from an employee standpoint. You know, we have great people that, you know, could potentially lose their jobs. He's feeding the ducks. Daycares like Glover's face financial limbo as state lawmakers debate a new budget. They need supplemental funding for this program, but no lawmaker has plans to sponsor a bill. Haven of Love in Macanda will shut its doors Friday, in part because of this uncertainty. Some parents on the subsidy wanted to sign up here. There was no guarantee that they could get coverage and they had, didn't have the financial means to start their children without having that security of knowing that they would have this. Marsha Biddle's family has run this daycare for three decades. This says change. Now they pack away their keepsakes. She calls it an important resource for parents. We're like a family. They will have to find care elsewhere, a trend that keeps spreading, also affecting those who pay for child care on their own dime. If it came down to whether or not we can financially remain open, those families are going to lose care too. Closing up shop, a reality many providers say is hitting closer than ever before. That's the last thing in the world I would want to do. And it's very uh, emotional to think about.